Hey everyone, Mike on Monday coming to you. Today I've got a special guest with me, Eric Bertram. And Eric, welcome to Mike on Monday. Um, Eric is an agronomist out of Chilton. How many years you've been doing this work now? I've been with the co-op for a little over 12 years now. 12 years. And Eric, uh, again, I mentioned out of Chilton, primarily in the Brilliant area is here. Yeah, most of my Oops. growers are up in the Brilliant area. Um, coming a little bit further south towards Potter. I have a few down in the Chilton area, okay. and I still have a few accounts up in the Greenleaf Depure area. Yet. Awesome. So Eric and I were chatting about what things he uh, saw this year and, and, and such, and, and we wanted to share some of that with you. So um, again, from this past growing season, what things caught your attention that uh, made it stick out the way it did? Well, I think one of the things that really caught my attention is that we actually got started on time this year. Um, we dried out. Uh, we were able to get on the ground fairly early this year. Um, for the last four or five years, uh, we've been fighting weather, a lot sure. of rain, a lot of water. Um, when you get up into that brilliant area, you get into some heavier clay soils uh, that don't drain as well. Um, and those guys have really been fighting that the last couple of years. Uh, this year was really different in that we actually stayed dry and for a while got too dry. Um, we missed out on some August rains that were a little bit further south, a little bit further north, uh, which I think may have affected the bean yields a little bit. For the most part, yields were very good though, yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of 60 bushel beans up in that area, 50 to 60 bushel beans were common. Um, I've heard some yields up in the 180s, 190s, 200s on corn, which is very good for that area. Um, I think had we caught a few of those rains in August, we may have been able to bump that bean yield a little bit. Okay. Um, but obviously the other nice thing that happened this year is that we were, for the most part, able to harvest without having to hook two tractors together, pulling <laughs> corn silage carts around. Uh, pulling choppers out, things like that. So um, that was a really nice thing this year versus the last four or five years. No doubt. So a little easier on the fuel bill and the fixing side of all that equipment because I'm sure we stretch a few pieces of iron when we're hooking things together and yeah. dragging them around. Yeah, not having to use dump carts this year to go out and chop corn silage um, had an effect on on economics at the farm, not having to have extra labor around, um, like you mentioned, extra fuel, things like that, um, made a big difference in being able to get corn silage chopped timely this year. So I'm gonna um, guess uh, maybe a little, a better year for tillage through these parts? Um, yeah, um, we did end up picking up a little more substantial rain kind of towards the end of manure. Okay. Uh, but for the most part, guys were able to get out all the manure that they wanted to in decent conditions. It was applied fairly well in comparison to the last couple of years. So I think that made a big difference. Um, you know, we, like I said, we've been dealing with with the impacts of really wet weather and really wet falls for the last couple of years up here. And I think it was kind of a welcome relief to a lot of guys to be able to, to have a normal sure. type of year. So it sounds like maybe we've got the stage set the field conditions for next spring that because the manure we got a lot of it out early uh in reasonable and we've got a lot of good tillage done because that area needs uh, that yeah tillage, a lot so. of i mean i would say that for the most part guys got the tillage done that they wanted to and the kind of tillage that they wanted to do um it was it was done well um you know obviously we'll see what it looks like next spring sure. um but all in all i would definitely say that this year was a better round than we've had in the last few years. Awesome. And isn't it interesting that uh, I, most of you know I work out of the Plymouth area down in Sheboygan and we didn't talk about dry. Uh, we got nice enough for the fall harvest but we never got close enough to that drought condition as Eric was saying that it started pinching yield a little bit north and we're not far away. But Eric, thank you for joining us today. Uh, hope everyone has a a great day and we'll see you next week.